Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. By night, 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Number seven, Perez Estupinha. A look at the starting 11 today. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Leonardo Bonucci plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Federico Chiesa starts with Lorenzo Insigne in the wide positions. And the centrepiece of the attack today, Ciro Immobile. And so the battle commences. Pervis Estupinian. Erton Preciado. A sloppy pass. You know, many people have said a World Cup isn't truly a World Cup without Italy. And here they are. They're in the World Cup. I think we can all rejoice at that fact. But what kind of impact can they make? Well, you have to remember in the summer of 2021, they were the best team in Europe. And when they were trying to qualify for this World Cup, they didn't actually lose a game in qualifying. It was only that game against North Macedonia, which caused them a lot of problems and a couple of missed penalties as well. I think Italy are a good side. They've got a good coach as well. They could go a long way. Excellent ball over the top. Foiling his opponent completely. So the corner played into the box. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Verratti. Well, he really is danger personified. But in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-two, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. What can they do from here? Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. Well, visionary passing, and the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? <laughs> Playing it short. 
Barella. Making sure it didn't get past him. Oh, good save. And over it comes. Immobile. Nicely saved. Not away completely. Well, that's the end of that for now. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Immobile. And the counter attack is on. Options available. And a chance to whip it in here. Determined block. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Pervis Estupignan. To jump in front. Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. Barella. Chiro Immobile. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Insigne. Has a go. And the keeper taking it cleanly. Eccentric goalkeeping. Angel Mena. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Varela. And on to Di Lorenzo. And they need to get tighter. But quick thinking defensively. Options in the centre. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Barella. Chiesa. Immobile. Di Lorenzo. Patient build-up at the moment. Insigne. Just the challenge that was required. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Caicedo. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. The ball with Chiesa. Immobile, physically strong and secure on the ball. Angel Mena. And now with Estupignan. There will be one minute added on at the end. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Now, with regard to Lorenzo Insigne's performance, this is not the display he would have scripted beforehand, Stuart. Well, as the touch map shows us, he hasn't been getting into the right areas to cause damage. He's such a good player around the box, but not today. He's been disappointing.
Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. And using his strength to shield the ball. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Oh, big chance! Oh, he saved it! Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Federico Chiesa. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Chiro Immobile. And now with Di Lorenzo. Immobile. Can he give them the lead? And still danger here. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Teammates available. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Chiesa. Well, it's been a good last 15 minutes for Italy. They're having most of the ball now. They're creating plenty of chances and looking a constant threat. You feel they have to take the lead at some point with this sort of domination. Yes, yeah, really going so well for them. And who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. Well, we're into the final half hour. Oh, showing excellent vision. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. This might be ideal for the counter. Spinazzola. Will he play it in? A chance now with the corner. Time for a change then. Short corner taken. Insigne. Bonucci. Now Insigne. They do pass the ball with authority, but then the one that fails to hit its target. Preciado. Angel Mena. Poor pass. Bonucci. Into the final 20 minutes. Chiro Immobile. Well read to win possession back. Immobile now. Oh, managing to beat him. Part of the final analysis, it was good defending. Grueso. Excellent ball over the top. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. The attack looks promising. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Domenico Berardi. Di Lorenzo. Angle towards Insigne. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. In position, but pressure to cope with. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say.
plenty of running room in the wide position and the search goes on for a winner time is tight can he finish brilliantly blocked Jorginho Lorenzo Insigne Leonardo Spinazzola return to Insigne Verratti and a significant block following that cross Jorginho must take the lead here oh he's been foiled how pivotal could that be at this stage of the game well it was a good save but that was the chance to win the game there that could be their last opportunity well they fancy a short one it is now with Jorginho On to Pellegrini. Spinazzola. Could be. And saved by the keeper. Well, the two sides still locked together. And a set piece, a corner, can make all the difference. <laughs> Elects to go short. Pellegrini, superb block. Bastoni, can he put them in front? Can he find the angle? And that is that, the full-time whistle here, and nothing to separate the two sides at all over 90 minutes. It finishes nil-nil. Stuart, your take. Well, Derek, I was expecting more from both teams. You certainly can't criticise the effort, but there was a real lack of creativity and goal. Neither side did enough to win the game.